And then I had one of the coupons for Bath and Body Works where you can get um, a signature item free with a $10 purchase or whatever. So all of the little travel size things were three for $10, so I just bought three of these. I got the Body Splash little spray things in Sweet Pea, Orange Sapphire, which is one of their new scents, and Midnight Pomegranate, which I think I have several of these. I know I have like the big size right here, um, but I really wanted some like this past um, like couple weeks when I flew up to Oregon. You need like under three ounces, and these are three ounces each, so they're perfect for flying on planes. And then for my free item, I got the P.S. I Love You, um, like, large size body spray. You can see here. Um, and they also have the thing going on where, like, these types of things, all the signature collection, are buy three, get two free, or buy two, get one free. And then if you spend over $25, you get this little... I forget what they called it, but it was like sort of a little coupon book, and one of the things that you could like redeem it immediately was basically anything in the store under $13, so like you could go get another signature um, item. So basically, like what my sister did was she did the buy three, get two free, and then you can go out and pick another one, so it's basically buy three, get three free. So you can get six things for under $40, I believe, like with tax and everything, and I live in California where it's almost 10% tax. So if you want to go to Bath and Body Works, that's a good deal, but I didn't feel like I needed that much stuff or that I wanted to spend that much money on it, so I basically just paid $10 and got these four things. And then we went to Payless Shoe Source, and they're having their buy one get one 50 percent yeah, buy one get one 50% off sale right now, and then my mom had also gotten a coupon in the mail for 20% off your entire purchase. So we ended up just ringing it up together, even though mine were like cheaper, so it worked out weirdly, but I think I'm paying about $16 for these two shoes, or something like that. I don't know. Um, the first ones are these American Eagle, which is not affiliated with like the American Eagle Outfitters store. I don't know why they named it American Eagle, but they did. So they're these, maybe not entirely practical for winter, but I liked them. And they just have this little peep toe, so I live in California. Again, I'm always wearing flip-flops in the winter, so I don't think this will be a horribly big deal. These were $8 on sale from, I don't even know how much, um, there should be a tag somewhere. They were originally $22.99, so $8 on sale from $23, and then, like, I think these were one of the, um, like, 50% off items, so these rang up as $4, I guess. And then my other ones were on sale for $11 from $24.99, and they're these flats, and I like these because they have sort of a dark gray, a navy blue, and a black, so you can, I think that they'll be like more versatile than just a plain black flat, or just a plain navy blue, or gray, or whatever, and they seem like they're, they're pretty sturdy, very well made, and they're just the Airwalk brand, so obviously I'm not expecting them to last forever, but, um... I think Payless, like, they've gotten a lot more expensive, but I think their shoes have also improved at least a little bit. And we went to Forever 21, but at least the store in my mall, and I've heard a lot of people say the same thing about, you know, Forever 21 stores everywhere else, they're so horribly disorganized, and at least in my mall, every time I've gone, the, the like, line is always, like, ten people long or something, and there's, like, two separate register areas, and the lines are huge in both of them. And I didn't think that it was worth it for, like, a few tank tops, camis that I was going to get. So I think I'll just order them online because I'm pretty sure right now they're having free shipping over $40. And I wanted some, like, tank tops or just camis and then some, like, beanie hats. So I think I'll just order those online. Those might be coming up in a later haul if I actually go through with ordering them. But anyway, the next store we went to was Old Navy. You can see that on the bag there just in case you didn't believe me. And their sizing is so weird. I'm normally a size 9 or 7, I think. Yeah, I'm more commonly a 7 than a 9. I just somehow have it stuck in my head that I'm a size 9. But anyway, I wear a size 2 in their jeans. 
and my sister is like a size 3 and she tried on a size 0 there and it was too big so um, just sort of beware of that like don't be like me and waste all your time trying on pants that are going to be like five sizes too big because at first I grabbed a bunch of pants in like six and eight and I went to the fitting room and I was like oh well I hope these sixes are big enough for me and then they were huge so I went back and I got some fours and I was like well maybe these will fit and they were still big so I ended up buying two pairs of the Diva boot cut jeans and these were on sale they're having this huge sale on denim right now but most of them are 19 and 25 dollars but the diva boot cut jeans like they have the diva the sweetheart the flirt and something i don't know but they're like the different like rises of jeans the diva is low rise i guess and the the diva boot cut jeans there's also diva skinny jeans which i don't think are on sale well they're like 19 dollars these are 15 dollars so I got these two pairs for $30. The other pair is identical, so I'm not going to show that one too. They were on sale from, I believe, $30, so they were basically 50% off, and they're really nice jeans. They fit me pretty well. I mean, they don't fit perfectly, but they fit pretty well. They're long. I tend to shop at places more for, like, the inseam than the fit in general, because, like, if something, like, like when pants sort of gap out at the back when you sit down, that can be covered by wearing a longer shirt, but them being too short, the only thing you can cover that with is like boots, and if you're wearing like boot cut or flare jeans, you can't cover that with boots, otherwise it looks really That's weird. That's all I got today. If I missed anything, I'll include it in my next haul, but I'm pretty sure that was all the stores we went to. Like I said, I would, I was going to have gone to Forever 21, but to buy like five or ten tank tops plus they have a lot bigger selection of colors and stuff on the website and it's just the website is a lot better organized and easier Thank to use. You so much for watching please um comment and subscribe if you liked it and i'll see you guys later bye